dispatch officers of this great House of Assembly for the meeting. Mr. Speaker, let me lay certain premises. I have, 20, I have four local governments, 24 wards that constitute my whole constituency. That's very large. You can imagine the turn up of people in that very area. And you can imagine if those with two words are just uh, expressing the difficulty they are encountering, then you can see me with 24 words. What kind of problems that I will be confronting every day? That is my own. But with that, Mr. Speaker, I have to, I have to thank Mr. Governor for what he has done in my own constituency. I appreciate him very much. So also the leadership of this house, because if not because of the constituents meeting that we did last year, most of the road that were constructed in my local government may not have been known. But that has made what will stay demand for more. And just like Honorable Temi Tokpe said, I need to mention some that they are giving to us because our secretariat did a very marvelous job. They've comprehended the list of the projects that my constituents want, and we have submitted it. But Mr. Speaker, I need to tell you that all these four local governments, I will just take them one by one in a very brief manner. For Agado Kudu, they have Yekem Road. That Yekem Road links almost 24 villages. That road is highly very important. It will discongest the tra tra uh, traffic from the main road. That the Abekuta Express Road. If that one is done, it will be a milestone in my own constituency. Number two, for Ayoboy Ipaja local government. That one was done in Agbado Kyodo. Then for Ayoboy Ipaja local government, we have Kuloba, Sabu, and Olayemi stroke Asipa Road. It's highly very, very important. That was who anybody coming right, right away from Ogun State can just venture through that very place and move to Lasu area. That's for your boy Paja. For Moshe Mokola, there is one particular mini stadium that has been abandoned for several years. I just appeal to Mr. Governor to see to this day because these are the places we produce most of these uh, strikers in the, in the international level now. They practice in that field, and the field has been amassed for the construction. And the job has been going for several years now. It has never been completed. If that one is done, I will be very happy. Then for uh, Alimaso constituents, uh, Alimaso local government, there's this Bambeke road. Bambeke is very, very important road. That if we do it, then any traffic coming right away from the road, they can just go via that very place without moving to Abekuta Express Road. That one is, is very, very important. Other rules are listed under what the principal rules that I've mentioned, and the Secretariat has compiled it. On education, we have some schools that need to be rehabilitated. I have. That one is also there. We have com compiled the list. Secretariat will submit it accordingly. Mr. Speaker, I want to say this way because it's from traditional ruler, a paramount traditional ruler. There is one river called Abesan River. It starts from Agadu Kudu. It's a river, but the people call it Kanai now. If that river is dredged according to the paramount ruler of Ipaja, Ulu of Ipaja, if that river is dragged, then it will easy transportation completely in the area. Because you move down from that very place to Ilo, from Ilo to Ijan, from Ijan it's 45 minutes to CMS through the waterway, which it will completely raise any traffic congestion on our road. It's highly very important. Youth empowerment. Our youth need to be engaged. And 
the most important th things today to be done is on our youth. And they specifically sent me to this house that during this NSAS problem, that federal government initiated some program, 75 million, uh, 75 billion uh, project. That that number, then many uh, money money trader, artisan trader, and the rest of it. They told me that as we inform this house that a representation can be made to the federal government that this money should not be distributed at Abuja alone. That the money should be distributed to all the states in the federation so that the governors of each and the House of Assembly and the rest of them, they will be able to allocate this one accordingly. Because you cannot sit in Abuja alone and know the problem in Ayokoi Pagia. It's not possible. So we must practice federal federalism into a letter. They send me for that very one. And for Lagos State also, the empowerment of the youth is highly very important. And I know our government is doing that. So with this, all other things, we have compiled it. Once again, I thank Mr. Governor, the Speaker, Principal Officers, and our able and dynamic clerk for sending competent staff out that have done justice to our compilation. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. I uh, will hold my colleagues remaining distinction I remember so just two minutes because we have some important things to do just after the plenary.